please welcome to the 99.9 Virgin Radio Studios for the first time, and we hope the first of many times, Mike Flanagan, director, Kylie Curran, star of Dr. Sleep. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Star, Kylie, how does that feel? Uh, <laughs> I, I never, I never really thought about it. Um, I, I just thought this is this is really fun to be a part of this story and get to do what I love. No kidding. So, so this story, if you don't know what Doctor Sleep is yet, you're going to love this movie. If you love Stephen King like I do, you've seen The Shining, and this is the next chapter, Mike. Yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of pressure. Oh, so much pressure. I still kind of feel like I'm about to throw up. I felt this way <laughs> uh, for, for like a year and a half now. Yeah. But yeah, uh, more pressure than I've ever been under in my life. And is that because... Like, when you saw The Shining for the first time, and obviously yeah. you would have been young. And I was way too young. Way yeah. too young. Yeah. 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 Same here. So That's yeah. the right? way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I saw it. I was in, like, fifth grade, yeah. and it completely traumatized me. Oh, yeah. Thoroughly traumatized me. And um, I, saw, I saw it with a friend, because I wasn't allowed to see it. Uh -oh. And I was like, so, of course, I had to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, it, it messed me up for years. Um, but that's the thing, you know, I, I grew up with The Shining and, it, and I watched it so many times over the years, studied it, that the, the very idea of, of stepping into this and messing it up, you know, was And how did you comfort yourself? Because that's an yeah. immense amount of pressure. Yeah. Like, how did you talk yourself through that? Well, the, the thing that, that kind of gave me the most comfort was if I, if I stopped thinking of it as a sequel. Yeah. If, if, I, if the word sequel mm -hmm. kind of popped into my yeah. head, I would, I would kind of panic. My stomach would drop out. Yeah. Um, so I liked to think of it more as a descendant of The Shining. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, okay. So it, you know, like any like any kid, it, it's got the DNA of its parents, mm -hmm. and in our case, that's you know Kubrick and King. But it also has to find its own way in the world and yeah. kind of have its own identity, and and that that was my way through. It's now, a, without, sorry, go ahead, buddy. It, it's a wonderful movie. It's God, and, thank you. And I'm. Not the best in scary movies. <laughs> I was not say, like, looking forward to seeing yeah. it. <laughs> I, was, I was very, but it was awesome. The bits that I watched without my hands in front of my face were wonderful. Uh, and Kylie, you were fantastic. Oh, thank you. You were so good. Um, thank you so much. Has, has this been something that, like, like, how do you explain to your friends that, oh, I'm in, like, the next chapter of one of the most iconic horror movies ever made. That's a great question. Well, I, I want to hear the answer to this yeah. question. Well, yeah. Um, it's not a casual What thing, do you yeah. say to your yeah. friends? Well, uh, a lot of times I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't you didn't talk about it. Well, um, in the beginning, no. But with, with my closer friends, yeah, I talked about it. And we all really love horror movies. So they're like, oh, my gosh, seriously? Yeah. Whoa, this is so exciting. And we'd all jump around and scream yeah. with each other. But, um... Not really. No. I don't. If the, if they see me, they're like, "Oh, hey, that's you," and I go, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> well, you know, yeah. This is so, yeah. It's so you should go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just because you are so down to earth. Like yeah. this is something oh. about Kylie that that's kind of incredible. You know, she she gets cast in this huge movie, giant film, yeah. and um and I was like, oh my god, she's got to have so many questions. This has got to be so overwhelming. Um, so we invited Kylie and her mom to come in to the, uh, to the production office mm -hmm. to ask all the questions. And the only question that Kylie asked was, okay, this is really cool, but how do I know I'm not going to fall behind in my schoolwork? Oh, oh, wow. hey, and I, I, I thought, oh my God, like not only are you going to be fine in this experience, but you're going to be fine like in, in life. life. I'd be like, yeah, you're good. I'd be like you are yes, fine. I'm taking this job so I can fall behind in my schoolwork. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, my question um, is, is there candy here? Yeah. 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 Um, you and McGregor. Uh, yeah. Like... One of my my true loves because he's in Star Wars, uh, but also is in some incredible, incredible films. And and Mike, I'm going to ask you about him first, and then Kyle, I'm going to ask you about him next. To direct a guy like that with the pedigree that he has, yeah. What's what was it like? Oh, it's it's it was wonderful. You know, you and um, you and is very kind. He's he's a very humble person, and and so. I was a little starstruck when I first met him because, it, like you said, I mean, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Yes. Ewan McGregor has been in some of the biggest movies, you know, of all time. And and so uh, you think that someone like that would carry with them kind of the weight yeah. of all of that. Um, but no, he's he's actually incredibly, incredibly generous and uh, and kind and down to earth and, you know, really easygoing, just very easy to work with. Um, what amazed me about it, because I never wanted to bring up Star Wars. Of that course. was the thing. I was just like, I, I, I don't even know how to, how to broach it. <laughs> Um, and then there, we would have kids on set. Um, there'd been a lot of kids one day uh, that were extras in this big park scene on a, on a train. Yeah. And as he came around the corner, all the kids exploded and they started, oh, Obi-Wan! And he just smiled yeah. and went kid to kid, shook every hand, yeah. and answered every question they had about Star Wars. And it was one of the oh, most endearing awesome. things. I, it, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I thought that was so kind of telling about who yeah. he is. Kylie, what about you? 
Oh, he, uh, he's amazing. I mean, just like Mr. Mike said, he's so humble and mm-hmm. so kind. I mean, I really enjoyed working with him. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of fun talking about um, things offset or about our lives out of out of the industry. And it was a lot of fun. He'd talk about having a motorbike, which I thought oh, was yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, he's got a documentary yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then he's a master at chess. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I was in the heating tent one day when we were on location. And I saw this chessboard. He was playing with Mr. Cliff, who plays Billy. Yeah. Um, and I watched them, and I said, "Wow, maybe, maybe, maybe I could ask them to play chess with me after." And yeah. I looked over, and <laughs> Mr. Hughes says, "Checkmate him." And I remember just thinking, "Okay, yeah, no, go- not gonna do that." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, listen. I mean, we could sit here and talk to you about this for the whole thing because I genuinely, genuinely love this yeah. movie. Uh, best of luck with the premieres and everything else and all the other media tour you have to do. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for making time for our little show today. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's it. our appreciate pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. Well deserve success yeah. to both of you. No guys. kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All so the fretting, by the way, worth it. Yeah. You did a great job. <laughs> yeah. It was you did a great job. Job. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. You are the one who is great. Thank you so much. <laughs>